one thing I'm asked about a lot is credit cards for students. And should you get one for the student in your household? What are the risks involved? What's the benefit? If there is one, we're going to talk about that. Also, wow, the party's over. There, about a third or so of Americans had the incredible privilege, starting in 20 because of the COVID, of being able to work from home, work remotely. And it's something that millions of Americans got used to. And now more and more employers are saying, "Uh uh-uh, what do you do about it when an employer changes the rules of the game? What's your play in that situation? We'll talk about it. So with uh, the first inklings of students going back to school, I want to talk about the opportunities available to help a student establish credit. And this has different wrinkles. First, let's talk about students that are going to college full time. Student going to college full time is eligible for college student credit cards. Uh, Credit card companies know that they're most profitable of all customers are college students. And the reason is college students tend to do a lot of discretionary charging. They eat a lot of pizza late at night and other things. And they don't pay their bills in full overwhelmingly. They run up big interest charges. And if they get in over their heads, in most families, the dynamic of most families is when the bill collector calls from the credit card company, the next call is from the college student to a parent who then bails them out. So the risk of the student credit cards is very, very, very low for college students. Um, We believe the best student card in the marketplace is the Discover It student cashback card. Discover has long put a special focus on the college student market. Uh, There's also a card called the Quicksilver that from Capital One that is a called Quicksilver is like a sub brand of Capital One's credit cards. And then they have a sub sub brand Quicksilver student. And that's a great card. And the third one that we found we really like is from it's true Bank of America the unlimited cash rewards for students card all these work very well if you pay the balance in full they help a student establish credit and they actually have rewards with them when they're a disaster is running a balance because the high interest rates charged on student credit cards. So this one, these cards are great as starter cards for college students. But roughly one third of high school graduates don't go to college. So then what do you do? How do you establish credit? So one way to do it is by you making a student, and it could be in high school, whatever, an authorized user on one or more of your cards if you have a good payment history. And that will establish a credit score for them and will potentially make it possible for them to qualify for a low credit limit card on their own because of that, especially if they're working part-time or full-time. Giving someone a card to help them establish credit. Let me say this to you. You can make them an authorized user, but never give the kid the card. So then you will have the benefit for them without the possibility they'll run up charges. And who's responsible for authorized users? You are as the owner of the account. So you got to know your kid. If you have a kid who's very responsible 
would never do crazy charging, anything like that, then you're good. You can teach them the basics of using credit by making them an authorized user and giving them the card. By the way, for it to help their credit, you have to give your kid's social security number when you're applying for the authorized user status for them. Otherwise, it's like it never happened. But getting a student established with credit is so important down the road if they at some point want to buy a car, if they're getting insurance on their own, those kind of things. Having a good solid credit history is essential.